Donald Trump has been sued for blocking people on Twitter. Now, uh, the government is not supposed to violate uh, First Amendment rights, and uh, it appears in this case by blocking uh, certain individuals who criticize Trump, he is uh, violating their First Amendment rights. At least that's the argument of a lawsuit that was brought uh, before this judge. Now, the federal judge heard the case against Trump for banning followers and suggested a settlement. The president should simply mute Twitter followers that annoy him rather than block them entirely. Manhattan federal judge Naomi Rice Buckwald told the attorneys that resisting the settlement could actually result in the establishment of a new law they might regret. <laughs> so um, I, I think that's an interesting suggestion. And I mean, when you mute someone, obviously you never see what they tweet to you. And it's probably a better way to go about things because some people, you know, love getting blocked. Like they think that that's like a badge of honor, which mm -hmm. is hilarious. But nonetheless, he's still, no one will know, but he's still doing what people are suing him for. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a slight difference because they're saying that Americans have a, a right to know what the president is saying. Right. right. Just turn on TV, you're gonna be okay. But but technically, I get it, right? Uh, and the president doesn't normally communicate through Twitter, but he, this guy does. Mm -hmm. And so when he blocks you, you can't see what the president is saying That's right. and the policies that he's saying. When you get muted, then it's it's more of a First Amendment issue to, to Anna's point, right? Mm -hmm. When you speak back to the uh, government and you know seek a redress of your grievances, which is in the First Amendment, you can't get them because he muted you. So it's not a great solution either right. way. But I mean, we're having preposterous this is, conversations about oh what the president is doing on Twitter. <laughs> this is the most 2018 story I think that could ever exist. I mean, this was like this is straight out of an Onion headline from like a year yeah. ago. Like right. it's like it's like a judge lecturing the president. Like, well, actually, a better strategy to do on Twitter is to mute people instead of block yeah. people. Like, and it's like <laughs> it's just it's so bizarre and so like. Postmodern and surreal that um, you know this idea that um, <laughs> that um, the president uh, is like going through his menchies, you know, and yeah. saying like, oh, I don't, I don't like you, I'll block that's, you. That's it's, what's it's amazing. That's what's happening. And he cares about it. Like the idea that Obama would have time to go through his mentions no, yeah. and block people that he's like, oh, Jimmy Dore's annoying me, yeah. right? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. right? Like but that. that's what the president's doing. He's wasting his day going through his mentions. That's insane. I don't. I don't understand it. I, I feel like the president of the United States should be the busiest person in the United States. Um, I don't. I don't have time to go through my mentions. First of all, I don't like Twitter, so I try to avoid it anyway. Smart but some, But I also know that you know social media. You know, is important for your career. So sometimes I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, today I'm going to be more active on social media. <laughs> but there's no time. There's no time, and I do an internet show. Like, how does the president of the United States have time for this? It's crazy. And the fact that they say that that's his personal account. He's always tweeting about stuff that is not personal. That has yeah. to do with uh, the government. The government and our, you know, our best interest or our whatever. Policies. It's just ridiculous policies. Uh, it's just, I, why, why do we have to have this conversation about the president and his Twitter it's good, account? It's good, it's good, it's good. Yeah, you gotta drink it in. So I saw an episode of Black Mirror where Ugh. they had developed a technology where you could actually block people in real life. Yeah. Spooked the hell out of me. I was like, oh Jesus, that sounds really bad. Then I can't talk to them. That would drive me crazy, right? right. Mm -hmm. And I almost never get blocked for whatever reason, or I do and I don't notice it on yeah. Twitter. Because so you're very polite on social media, Jack. <laughs> I'm just a I'm just, gracious I'm, man. That's right, I'm very genteel. Yeah. Uh, but the other day, uh, Governor Howard Dean uh, blocked me. Yeah, okay. that's a badge of honor. I yeah. would say that's a badge. I'm wow. proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you because oh. he is the biggest sellout of all time. He didn't My God, like that. Uh, I know. Well, that's in essence what I called him, which apparently he didn't he like. He absolutely no. blocked me, Howard Dean. Please come on. <laughs> so anyway, when he did though, I was like. Okay, but then I can't see what you're saying. So isn't that kind of your loss, <laughs> right? Like, like, all right, have at it, Oz. Mm -hmm. Okay, you shut yeah. off my access to your brilliant ideas. Yeah. Wow, what a big loss to me. So, but that's like, like nonsense punditry going back and yeah. forth. But the president's taking it so seriously. We're in court over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. They elected like like boss hog. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you Miles Hogg is in the White House. What you just watched was one of the videos that we do today, but we actually do a whole two hour show every single day. It's a podcast, you could watch it in video or listen to it as audio. You can download it, you can stream it, and you get it completely ad free if you could become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.